Imagine you're a space explorer. You're on your way to a planet no one's ever been to, and you realize you forgot to fill your tank at the spaceport. You're out of gas. But what if, and stay with me here, you could sail to your destination? That's what makes the concept of what's known as solar sailing so fascinating. Solar sailing is a game changer. And Bill Nye is out to prove it's a real, viable solution for space exploration. The LightSail 2 passed a huge milestone this week when it successfully deployed its shiny solar sail in space, about 720 kilometers above Earth, and it started sending back some pretty incredible images. It's equipped with dual fisheye camera lenses. In this photo, you can see Baja California and Mexico in the background there. That sail is Mylar. It's 32 square meters, about the size of a boxing ring. Now, back in 2015, LightSail 1 completed a test flight in low Earth orbit, but didn't perform any controlled maneuvers. With LightSail 2, scientists want to show that the spacecraft can actually raise its orbit using only solar sailing, probably by about 15 kilometers. Now, this is a project from the Planetary Society, which is headed up by Nye and also supported by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Back in 2015, they raised over $1.2 million on Kickstarter to get LightSail 2 off the ground. It hitched a ride to space last month on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. Okay, so what is solar sailing? The idea is actually pretty simple. Now, just like any form of light, the light from the sun is made up of photons, which have no mass but they do carry momentum. So if something is light enough, like that solar sail, it can be pushed by those photons in the same way wind pushes the sail on a boat. This doesn't work on Earth because we've got an atmosphere, but in the vacuum of space, there's no mass to push back on the sail. The idea is solar sailing could be used as a way to propel CubeSats through space. Those are essentially tiny satellites. They can carry science experiments, they can observe Earth, they can even provide broadband internet. Solar sailing isn't a new idea. Legendary astronomer Carl Sagan started talking about it decades ago. One mission that's being talked about is to rendezvous with Halley's Comet. In I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> even the late great Stephen Hawking was a fan of solar sailing. He backed a project called Starship, which would use laser-powered light sails to send a swarm of microbots to the nearest star, Alpha Centauri. And back in 2010, Japan launched Ikiros toward Venus, making that the first spacecraft to demonstrate interplanetary solar sailing. Now, just a day after deployment, the Planetary Society said the light sail was turning its broadside to the sun about once per orbit. That was giving it a little push, no stronger than the weight of a paperclip. Okay, so what's next? Right now, we're in the orbit-raising portion of the mission. For the next month, the spacecraft will continue swinging its sail into and away from the sun's rays, which should generate enough thrust to raise its orbit. After that, it's gonna start losing the ability to maintain a circular orbit. That essentially ends the mission. Now, LightSail 2 will stay in orbit for about a year before re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and burning up. Now, this technology is a long, long away from propelling humans around the solar system. In fact, the Planetary Society has only talked about using this technology on CubeSats. But if this mission is a success, it would at least prove that solar sailing is a viable and efficient tool for space exploration. But I want to know your thoughts on solar sailing. Is it the future of space exploration? Or does this idea blow? Enjoy this video? Click here for another Like It. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future.